Dr. Fauci, thank you for joining us. Uh, help me understand, are we headed towards a period once again where we're going to see lockdowns, businesses shutting down, you know, since it's not Holly Senegal, Romania, you know, there is no idea. He were an answer, were an answer, were an answer. I think we have enough of the percentage of people in the country, not enough to crush the outbreak, but I believe enough to not allow us to get into the situation we were in last winter. There is no sale. There is no sale. There is no sale. And they are we when you share which this is that I get so I let on this fun to be look better. Scare bites, scare bites, scare bites. You know, what we really need to do, John, we say it over and over again, and it's the truth. We have a hundred million people in this country who are eligible to be vaccinated, who are not getting vaccinated. But we're looking to some pain and suffering in the future because we're seeing the cases go up, which is the reason why we keep saying over and over again, in an area of the country that has a high or substantial degree of transmissibility, what we know as the orange and the red zones, you should wear a mask. So you want them to wear a mask so that if in fact they do get infected, they don't spread it to vulnerable people. We're almost out of time, but I want to ask you about the reaction we've seen from prominent Republican governors. And I want to mouse, and I want to mouse, and I want to mouse, and I want to mouse. So although you want to respect a person's individual right, yeah, rouge, divinus, yeah, rouge, divinus, yeah, rouge, divinus, and the surf, but have you seen we are lowest, and we are lowest, and we are lowest. So a person's individual, individual decision to not wear a mask not only impacts them, because if they get infected, even though they say it's my decision, if I get infected, I'll worry about that.